Hey guys, it's Matt from Card Blanche Sound again. Um, I wanted to do a follow-up video to my initial first look review uh, and kind of go... Somebody asked a question about MIDI piano roll notes, specifically painting notes. At the end of my first video, I had mentioned that I was disappointed that Reason still didn't have this feature. Um, and so... I kind of wanted to make this video to not only answer that user's question, but also to hopefully kind of go over a couple other things I missed in my first review. And also, in the other video, I did mention that I haven't used Reason in a few years, so my workflow is maybe not the best. So if you come across something, um, that I could be doing quicker uh, and you have recommendations on how to do things you see me doing easier please feel free to you know post a comment or share with other people or, or shoot me a PM um, and I can make a new video or whatever if you have something you want to share anyways so let me just pull up the page here Leave. slow today. Alright, so O0 zero music 0O zero commented on the initial video and he or she says I appreciate your quick review. At the end of the video you mentioned something about MIDI paint. Would you be able to elaborate so I can understand what you mean? Alright, so MIDI paint. Um, Let's see which program might be easiest to show you that in. I'll try machine. Because I think I can use it without the controller attached. We'll find out in a second. Okay. So, let me see if I can find a hi-hat here. Users. All right. Looks like I need to adjust my audio settings here for a second. Uh, hopefully that'll do it. Let's see. Alright, perfect. So, MIDI paint notes. Alright. Basically, that would be this, which is awesome for doing hi-hats. So, say you got that. Right, and and what's what this is doing is you drag the note across. You know, you only have to click once. You just hold it as long as you want, and it automatically fills in notes with respect to the grid resolution that you have selected. And a lot of other programs have uh, similar features. For example, Persona Studio One doesn't have many note paint, but it'll let you paint one long note and then you can right click and split to grid so you know you can change and you can change your grid settings in that quickly so you can basically get the same effect very easily but essentially um, painting midi nuts would allow you to do stuff like that which can be great for hi-hat rolls and you know all that good stuff so hopefully that gives you a, a better idea um, the other thing I think I forgot to go over here is the new amps. And why am I not seeing them? Oh, they're rack extensions, that's why.
Perhaps I don't have them installed. All right, so we're going to have to pause, and I will make a separate video on the new guitar amps, and I'll record some stuff and let you guys know what I think.